She was handed megastardom in her childhood, but ironically she had to fight to keep it due to battling with life-altering disease. Stay tuned as we reveal rare photos and many such untold stories of Christina Applegate. Christina Applegate was born on November 25, 1971 in Hollywood, Los Angeles, California. Christina would make her TV debut alongside her mother in the soap opera Days of Our Lives. The actress made her film debut in the 1981 horror film The Jaws of Satan, after which she was featured in Beatlemania that same year. Christina played Grace Kelly in the 1983 television biography film Grace Kelly. Applegate finally had her breakthrough role playing the role Kelly Bundy on Fox's first sitcom, Married with Children. The series remains one of the longest-running series in television history with over 11 seasons and 259 episodes. As Kelly Bundy, Applegate played a character who was promiscuous and not particularly bright, but who was also funny and had a lot of heart. She was able to bring a lot of humor and depth to the role, which helped make the character memorable and beloved by audiences. Kelly's wild, over-the-top outfits epitomized the flashy style of the late 80s and early 90s and has since become iconic. The miniskirts, big hair, and loud makeup that were part of Kelly's signature look are often remembered fondly for their sheer audacity and style. Applegate's character, like the rest of the Bundys, was a stark contrast to the typically wholesome and morally upright characters seen in earlier sitcoms. The divergence from the norm is something many people remember and appreciate about the show. Applegate's Kelly was a big part of the show's enduring popularity. Her next big thing was when she was featured in NBC's sitcom Jessie. In the show, she played the title role of Jessie Warner, a single mother working in her father's bar in Buffalo, New York. And for her performance, Christina won the People's Choice Award for Favorite Female Performer, and she also earned her first Golden Globe nomination. In 2004, Christina Applegate played the character as the ambitious and talented reporter Veronica Corningstone in Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy. The films are still referenced in pop culture, and Applegate's role is a significant part of their legacy. Christina Applegate was way above any average actress in the industry, but it was quite unfortunate to see the way her career ended. Christina has done some amazing work on screen, leaving a solid legacy for upcoming stars to model, but like all other big names, she has lost out on a few roles that could have made her even more successful. And her biggest regret on the list would be the movie that grossed over $1 billion during its time on screen, Jurassic Park. Steven Spielberg, in an interview, revealed that Applegate was offered a role in Jurassic Park, but she rejected it. This made a lot of people wonder if Christina would have played Dr. Sattler as Laura Dern was older, while others believed that Steven had her in mind as Lex. Anyway, the actress made a bad gamble on Jurassic Park and the movie went on to become one of the iconic films from the 1990s. Another feature that Applegates openly expressed her regrets about losing was Legally Blonde. She rejected the role because she felt it would typecast her. I wouldn't toy with the idea of Legally Blonde because it felt too fresh getting out of Married with Children. It was very similar on paper, Christina admitted. She wished she had been more open-minded back in those days. Anyway, Applegate still made it to the list of the best of talents in the industry, but we can't help but wonder all she could have been had she not made those mistakes. Although Christina Applegate was forced to live with the regrets of the successful show she rejected, but for Titanic, it was just not her fault. The show's creators didn't think she was good enough. Christina lost the role to actress Kate Winslet, and the movie went on to become one of the most successful projects of the year. While Applegate made a few costly career mistakes, she still suffered from making the wrong picks in relationships as well. The actress has been entangled with a lot of men in the industry, and most of these relationships didn't have the ending she had anticipated. Christina first found love with actor Richard Grieco. They started dating in 1988, but their romance was brief. By the following year, Christina was head over heels for actor Brad Pitt. Her relationship with the American actor would end in the most dramatic way. On the night of the 1989 VMAs, Christina made what she confessed was the dumbest decision of her life. She ditched Brad Pitt for actor Sebastian Bach at the VMAs and their relationship ended afterward. Applegate's first marriage was to actor Jonathan Shake. According to the actress, her heart skipped a beat the first time they shook hands. Sadly, this wasn't her fairy tale ending. They divorced after four years, citing irreconcilable differences. Christina's last marriage was with Dutch bassist Martin Lenoble. The couple tied the knot in 2013 and share a daughter, Sadie Grace. Before Martin, Christina also dated photographer Lee Grivas, who died of an overdose in 2008. But her greatest battle yet would ultimately be with her health. 
Christina Applegate was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2008, aged 36. Her mother struggled with cancer in her 30s, so Applegate said that she has been cautious about getting regular mammograms since she turned 30. The cancer was detected early and so was not life-threatening. Following a successful surgery, Applegate received yet another shocking news. The test for the breast cancer gene also came out positive. This meant that the cancer would come back again, so the doctor gave her two options, either continue radiation treatments followed by constant tests for the rest of her life, or have both her breasts removed. I don't want to have to deal with this again, Christina confessed. I don't want to keep putting this stuff in my body. I just want to be done with this and let them go. So the actress would have both her breasts removed. Before she went under knives, Christina said that she got nude portraits where she captured them at different angles to serve her memory. In July 2008, the actress went through the surgery that tore her apart. Christina struggled to recover after the process. As she described it, she was mourning a part of her that was gone forever. But on the positive, Christina said that she doesn't have to wear a bra ever again, and she feels victorious over the battle with cancer. So, she continues to share her story as a means to create awareness for the disease. She is also involved in the philanthropic work of granting women easy access to MRIs and genetic testing, which many insurance companies are not able to pay for. But sadly, that didn't stop what was coming. In August 2021, Christina was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, a medical condition that affects the central nervous system and can cause difficulties in vision, balance, and thinking. Extreme cases of MS might make the victims permanently disabled. Christina was diagnosed while on the set of Netflix's Dead to Me. They had to pause production while she received treatments. The actress highlighted the difficulties that followed in finishing the show. I'm probably not going to work on camera again, 51-year-old Christina Applegate confessed. There's no way I could do the work that I just came off again. I mean, it was so hard. While Christina Applegate might have declared interest in discontinuing the acting business, still she doesn't intend to move too far away either. She revealed that she is very much available for voiceover projects. This is a progressive disease. I don't know if I'm going to get worse. I can do voiceover stuff because I have to support my family and keep my brain working, Applegate tells Vanity Fair. It might be all over for Christina Applegate, but the actress will forever remain one of the best talents to walk through Hollywood gates. Christina Applegate, now 51 years old, still maintains all her youthful exuberance. The actress is grateful for her husband and her daughter, and she shares a home with them in Hollywood Hills. If you like this video, then make sure to check out our other videos on beautiful actresses of yesteryear in the end screen.